What you doing, Rue? <laughs> Hi everyone, it is the 25th of March and um, the sun is glorious. It's been really, really warm and nice. I mean, wait, being able to wear a vest top kind of warm. Um, so the little one has been to a party all morning so I've been here by myself but I left the camera in the car because I'm clever um, so I've done some bits and bobs played with a pigeon don't ask, it was an injured um, racing pigeon um, but I didn't manage to capture him to give him to his owner but he's, he's alright, he seems okay it's just the end of his wing um, anyway, I have dug this area um, for some reason up here, the uh, ground goes up and down a lot, right at the top here. I'm assuming she may have had potatoes up here at some point, as she has everywhere else. <laughs> um, so we're levelling all this off, and I've taken out about 60 strawberry plants over there. Um, some of them are more mature plants, and some of them are the runners from last year, or the year before, the little plants. So I'm going to level all this off, sort it all out, and then we're going to put strawberries back in here. And then we've required a new rhubarb plant from down by the, um, the plot boards. Um, so that will go down at that end. Right, as well as the strawberry bed area, I've got um, I've put a cane big brown thing in here ready for some sweet peas. I'm starting to think about where I'm going to plant some of my um, for bascons and whatnot. That's just faffing, it's not important, is it? Um, it's so peaceful and quiet here today, it's really chilled out. So I have dug another six foot, eight foot of the onion bed, enough to get in the Stuttgart onions that I've got here. Um, so there's the garlic down the edge, it's, as you can see, I've taken very well. And then I am putting in some onions that I have started off in modules at home. Um, they're quite far apart. What about six inches? Um, so what I'm, I don't know. I don't like big onions, but I want to be able to hoe between them nicely and weed. So I might leave them at that spacing, or I might do. These are the sad um, modules. Lovely roots on them. What I might do is I interplant. So on the next row, there's one there, one there, and then one there, so that they're not as spaced out. Um. Yeah, that's pretty much what we've done today. Oh, I have found something out there. Let me show you. This is a new little trick, and if anybody's just starting their allotment and they have discovered that they have current bushes, now obviously we know that there's three main types of currants. There's your red currant, your black currant, and your white currant. I think most people have red and black. Um, and when you've got a new allotment, it's pretty much potluck as to what you've got. Everything's gotten really noisy all of a sudden. So, one trick that I read online today was if you get your currant bush and you rub it and then give it a smell, if it smells like black currant, then that one is a black currant bush. So, I'm thinking this one is black currant because it smells delicious. Um, so, it's at the top by the seating area. My plan is that them guesses that this one is black currant. So, we will see come somewhere what we get off it <laughs> if that theory is right or not um, some of the other ones don't smell at all another one smells completely different and then there's another two or three down there that smell the same as this so they're definitely different but which variety they are I don't know so my guess is this one is blackberry blackcurrant um, I've taken some of the dead stalks out of this plant and you know what I still don't know what it is what's up Chucks I'm playing you're playing I'm playing stuff okay So, okay, so I need to show you the fence that we've done as well. I um, plan to get some potatoes in today, or at least tomorrow. <laughs> it's Mother's Day tomorrow. So what do you want for Mother's Day? What do you want to do? I want to go to the plot, and I want to dig. That's my request. Um, when the fence came down, it damaged um, this currant bush that was next to the fence, and it was pulled down with it. But it's it soldiered on and survived, so I've moved it to here. Um, it's not a black currant though, it doesn't smell. 
um, it looks to be doing okay. Hopefully it'll survive. Let's see if we can spot the frog again. Is he there? No. Now I have actually put a little bit of wood in here because there is no way for him to get out. The edges are still quite high. So I put a little bit of wood in for him to climb out. Um, rhubarb, this one was here, is coming up nicely. Seems only small, but it's still fine. Um, we have a new gate. Ta-da! Uh, I think he, I said in my last video that we've been given permission to concrete these fence posts in. So we've got some quick set fence post um, concrete and did these two on Tuesday night um, when we could borrow a car and priority obviously is getting it secure so we just put this plastic netting on for now and I'm hopefully getting some um, like 24 meters hopefully of proper chain link fencing so we'll put that all the way along and then we'll utilize it in other places as well now this is my rhubarb from home and this time last year it was massive now this looks a bit crappy it's a bit floppy isn't it you need to come out don't you i'm going to take that out in fact today priority i'm going to pop them um, put that out and this ground really needs sorting out it's stressing me so yeah that's just a quick walk around today and to move things like this foxglove so i do love foxgloves and so do the bees and that's important so i'm going to move those and there are some knapweed seedlings around here, say, um, that I can put up in the flower bed. And um, we covered this up on Tuesday because we thought we wasn't going to get any good time down here. So we've actually borrowed a car today to come here, which is very nice. And my daddy. I know you watch this, so thank you, daddy. Um, so we cover this up in case we don't get to weed it, as, as plant it up as quick as we want to, then at least the weeds that are in underneath will die back a little bit so I'm going to get on now with planting these onions plan is to get these ones these are the Stuttgarters get these planted in today and um, because they're the ones that I started off in the modules and plant that rhubarb which is looking sorry for itself and hopefully but dig a trench for the Aaron pilot potatoes which are over there I'll show you in a bit so I'm going to get on with this and I'll get back to you shortly Right, the strawberry area has been levelled um, and I was going to put a weed membrane down it to here where it ends and um, plant through that but the weed membrane isn't long enough. So um, I might just do this bit for now because the strawberry plants are going to dry out they need to get in. Um, We have, we're not going to stay much longer, um, but we're just digging over where, well this row here we're just digging and then we're going to dig a trench here and that's going to be where the first Aaron Pilot potatoes go in. Um, I don't think we'll get any more done today so I'll take them home because I don't want to leave them here and then they get exposed to frost. At least when they're in the ground they're a bit more protected. So the Aaron Pilots, which are those ones there, they will go in today. There's enough to just do one row which is perfect. And then hopefully tomorrow we'll get in the King Edward. Um, no. Am I putting in the King Edward yet? No. I'm not. I'm going to take them back home. I'm going to put in the Maris Piper tomorrow. Um, so if you just put Aaron Pilot and Maris Piper in now. And then I'll put the main crop ones in in April. So we just need to get those two rows in for now. I've got Charlotte as well. I'm not sure when they're due to go in. Little pot there. Um, I'll just show you what we've done over here. Or what I've done over here. Um, we can. I've got seven rows of onions in and if we can see see onions some of them um, 
were put in modules but they were only put in recently so say in the middle there they don't have the green shoots on but I, I don't mind I'm sure they'll be fine so I leave those in now so that uses up um, we walk back to here which is the end of the bed they finish there so that gives us all of this space here so I've got they're my Stuttgart onions then I've got my turbo onions which will probably take up the same space again so probably to here that shadow and then I've got this space and the plan was to have um, a good space here for leeks and then I might put some of the potatoes in pots down the edge here or this might in fact no this is going to be where I'm going to do my marrow the competition marrow that we are going from their seeds from kitchen garden magazine um rachel's allotment garden online she's doing the same so i'm looking forward to comparing those um and also i'm growing a couple of courgettes for my mum. i can't stand courgettes Ugh. i'm allergic to them as well but that's not the point um i need to get these docks out as soon as possible so yeah very quiet peaceful day minus the bikes <laughs> um so I think we're nearly done here now. I'm just going to get those potatoes done and then we'll be back again tomorrow. So for now, bye-bye.